Now we've got our 3D text that's um, made from a MoGraph object, MoText. We're going to set up an effector and uh, this is going to control the scale and the rotation of our text. So I'm going to go to MoGraph and go into the effectors and I'm going to choose a plane effector. A plane effector controls the simple functions, the simple transforms of a MoGraph object. So the, the simple transforms of move, rotate and scale. So a plane effector controls movement, rotation and scale of MoGraph objects. It does a bunch of other stuff as well, but that's the most important bit. So I've created a plane effector. What this one is going to do is it's going to scale my text down to, until it disappears. And we're going to use that to make our text reveal out of nothing. So with my plane effector selected, I'm going to go into its parameters tab. And under parameters, I want to affect the scale of my text. So I'm going to turn on the scale settings. I'm going to turn off the position settings. I'm not interested in that. And I'm also going to turn on a uniform scale setting. This means our text shrinks in all three axes at the same time. I'm also going to set the scale value to negative 1. Uh, any MoGraph object that's scaled to negative 1 disappears, basically. Um, yeah, that might not be like in maths. In maths, scaling to 0 makes things disappear. And here, negative 1. Okay, so I've done that. So my plane effector is set up. It's going to scale things down to nothing. It's not doing anything at the moment, so I need to apply that effector to my MoText. So the way that we do that is by selecting our MoText. And what I want to do is I want to go to a tab that's called Letters. When we create MoText, we can have letters, we can have words separated by spaces, we can have lines. Uh, what I want my plane effector to do is to affect the individual letters. So I'm going to go to the Letters tab, and once I select that, here's a list here of all the effectors that are affecting this thing. So once I've gone to this Letters tab, all I'm going to do is drag and drop my plane effector down into this list. So just in one click, click and drag, drop it. And what should happen is your text should all disappear because it's been scaled down to nothing. And you can test that. You can just click the little tick box and that will turn that effect on and off. It's all looking pretty good. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to end up using several plane effectors in this animation. So I'm going to name this plane effector because uh, you need to name stuff. So I'm just going to double click it in my object list. And I'm going to call this one plane scale. You can call it what you want as long as it makes sense to you. But that's going to be my scale effector. Okay, so this is all looking good. When I create my plane effector, it's an object in the 3D scene. It's got a position. Uh, if we grab our move tool, we can kind of shift it around, but nothing happens. There's no, um, there's no effect going on here with my, uh, there's no reveal going on. So what we need to do is set up a reveal. And the way that we do that is we control where the plane effector works in 3D space. At the moment, it works infinitely throughout 3D space. So anything with this plane effector will scale down to nothing. To control that, select your plane effector, go into its fall off, and there's a shape setting there, which at the moment is set to infinite. As I said before, it exists infinitely throughout 3D space. We want to create what's called a linear fall off, and when we click on that, we get a little red and yellow um, sort of helper icon, and the way that this works is that uh, any MoGraph object outside the yellow lines is affected. As this, def uh, as this effector passes through a MoGraph object, the effect occurs on it. Now at the moment, if I grab it and slide it backwards and forwards on my z-axis, as it slides through where my text is, I can see it's making my letters scale up. So just be careful, if you're clicking and dragging, just be careful which axis you're dragging on. Uh, I'm just dragging in this blue axis, the z-axis at the moment. Okay, so that's looking good. That's definitely doing its thing. All these letters are scaling at the same time, at the same amount, um, uh, but it's working. So that's the important thing. We've set up our plane effector and uh, we've set up a fall-off for it. 